We are now looking at section 13.6, which has to do with residential units. Now, basically, this is where you own a property, uh, an apartment, or a building, which people use to stay in, which are used for residential purposes. And you use it to make a living. So you either rent it out to people, or maybe you even you're a business, and you give it to some of your staff members as a, an accommodation, as a fringe benefit. That would also still be used in the production of income, obviously for you. Anything that you give to your staff is in the production of income. Now, if you have residential units, you can claim this allowance. Now, there's a couple of things that you just need to understand before we jump into it. Yeah, the, the units you must have. at least five units and it must be in South Africa then you can claim this right so we're going to look at that allowance in a moment let's build up to it first so the first thing I want you to understand is what is this residential unit what is a residential unit so it says it's a building or a self-contained apartment which is used mainly so more than 50 percent for residential accommodation Unless the building or apartment is used by a person in carrying on a trade as a hotel keeper. So they're saying if you're a hotel owner, sure, that's also residential. Low cost residential, but don't worry about the hotel keepers too much, guys. It's out of your syllabus. Low cost residential unit, this is important, and you need to know what is a low cost residential unit. So this is a residential unit, which is a low cost one. When will it be? You're going to have to be able to identify this in a question. It tells you if it's located within the Republic and it's an apartment. So an apartment in the Republic where the cost does not exceed 350,000 rands. And the owner of the apartment does not charge a monthly rental that exceeds 1% of the cost. So if the cost is 350,000 rands. So the maximum amount to qualify. The monthly rental cannot exceed, so this is per month, right, so it can't be more than three and a half thousand rands per month. If it is, then it's not a low-cost residential unit. Or, so this first one was an apartment, remember? Now, if it's a building, so that is, for example, a freestanding house, where the cost of the building does not exceed 300,000 rands. Now, guys, usually a freestanding place is more expensive than an apartment. Or well, quite often, please note here that this 300,000 rands does not ex um, include the cost of land, right? And again, the owner of the building does not charge a monthly rental that exceeds 1% of the cost. Now, this cost, guys, so th this might seem a little bit unfair to you. So let's say in 2002, you bought a place for 350,000 rands. Now you're saying in 2018, I can't claim, I can't still can't charge more than three and a half thousand rands per month because that's one percent of the cost. Now that seems a bit unfair towards the the lessor. That's why this rule at the bottom here says, provided that the cost is deemed to be increased by ten percent in each of the year succeeding it. So that means in 2002, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. You would have started with 350,000. Then the next year they said, okay, we will treat it as if it was actually 350,000 plus 10%, so 385,000. Plus 10% in the next year, 423,500. So this is just for the calculation of that monthly rental. Right, to make sure that it doesn't exceed that monthly rental. The original cost can still not exceed 350,000. So how does this work? It says, they must be allowed to be deducted from the income of a taxpayer an allowance equal to 5% of the cost. Can you see there must be a cost? 
and of any new and unused residential units. Then we see that again. Right? If that unit or improvement is used solely for the purpose of trade, it's situated in the Republic, and you own at least five residential units. There's the rules we said. Right, then again, just be aware of it. Section 12 N tells you that if you make an improvement, so that's if you're leasing from the government. You are treated as if you are the owner, so they tell you that you can claim it. Right, again, it's not special to section 13 6, section 12 N. Two, they shall be allowed to be deducted from the income of the taxpayer and, watch should this one, an additional allowance of 5%. So they say, you already can claim 5%. We will allow you to add an extra 5%. So that the total is 10% if it is a low-cost residential unit. So low-cost residential units, you can claim it over 10 years instead of over 20 years. For the purpose of this section, the cost to the taxpayer shall be deemed to be the lesser of the actual costs, then we see this rule again, or the arm's length cost that would have been paid. So lesser of cost or market value. Again, no deduction shall be allowed if this has been disposed by the taxpayer in a previous year of assessment. So thus must be the first time you use this no deduction shall be allowed in respect of the cost of residential unit if any of the costs is qualified for deduction from the tax base income so in other words you can't claim a cost more than once they tell you that the deductions allowed in this section shall not in aggregate exceed the amount of such costs so again you can't claim more than a cost and then here, yeah, guys, here we go, a rule. If you acquire a residential unit, right, and it's only a part of the building. So again, here's a block of flats. Right, so someone builds a block of flats. You don't build it, you go and buy it. And you buy one, two, three, four, five of them, let's say. So you've bought enough to claim this allowance. It's new and unused, but you haven't bought the entire building. In that case, so let's say the cost is 500,000 rands per unit. So it's not low cost residential in this case. If it was low cost, you, the still same rule applies. Then the allowance that you can claim will be 500,000 times 55% of the cost if you've purchased a part that's per unit times 5 units times 5% if it was low cost then that would be 10% they also tell you if you buy an improvement so that will be, for example, let's say this is this whole block of flats is second hand, but someone bought it and they renovated it, so they made it brand new. So it's an old building, but all the flats are brand new inside, and you buy these five units. Or let's say, just for the sake of this argument, you buy all of these units, right? At 500,000 rands a unit. Then you can only claim 500,000 times 30% times 12 units times 5%. So basically, the rule is if you've acquired an improvement. And guys, that is not very common to see that. So in a nutshell, here we go. If you construct it yourself, then 5% of the cost. If you buy it, you can 5% of this entire building, 55 if it's part of the building, and if it's an improvement you're acquiring, you can claim 30%. And please note, guys, that this is all just a slight summary of what we just said.